Man, it's a beautiful weather here. Anyway, one thing I, I don't understand is if you don't have the connection, you know, um, if you didn't go to Ivy League school, if you didn't personally, you know, uh, have an uncle that has plenty of money that can land you for, for your business. Back in the days, you know, 5, 10, 20 years ago, that, that would have been a, a deal breaker. But today is no longer that issue. You know, social media has democratized, you know, access to connection, network, um, facilities, meeting people, finding investors. So there's no longer, I would say, uh, an excuse for, for, for people, man. You shouldn't be able to sit around and, and wonder, how, how am I going to, you know, get the word out? Because that's the key, you know. And now with the internet, you know, information has been democratized, you know. So you no longer uh, need to have the connection. I remember I, I started my business four years ago. First thing I did is get a presence on social media. So many of you guys especially young entrepreneur, do not have a website. I don't get it. Your website should have its own social media aspect. You should have a social media if you, if you want to have some information to share, some knowledge, if you can teach others. If you don't, that's fine. Then stick it to the business, you know? And, 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 and that's the key, you know? And that's the reason why African entrepreneurs are so underrated. You know, we, if you look at the whole, first of all, who we look, who we look, who we look up to, you know, Mark Zuckerberg, uh, Elon Musk, all those guys that are, you know, in the States or um, in China uh, with Alibaba CEO, forgot his name, but who are the guys we have? Or we, we look at the whole continent. We have Dangote. Who else? Tell me who else. I'm sure there's some more, but for a whole continent, you can pick it in a handful. That that's it shouldn't be the case. You know, each country should have at least 10, 20 entrepreneurs people can look up to. But we don't because, you know, a lot of a lot of them don't share the knowledge for those who don't you know you can't access them on social media you know you can't interact with them there's a lack of of sharing knowledge but the good thing is social media has changed all that stuff you know now the whole game has changed you know i build my profile on social media if you follow me on linkedin on youtube uh, most of the speaking engagement I got came from social media uh, videos um, and posting it. We just hired a social media uh, a videographer expert, you know, for, for social media packaging for the company, for myself, to continue this uh, uh, branding, I call it. Now we live in a world where you have to brand yourself, you know, if you want to position yourself in a leadership position, you know, not just your company. And that's a choice. You don't have to, but you can do it. But you have to do it if you want to position yourself in, in as a leadership, uh, leadership position in your field. You know, no longer you have to know someone that will, you know, refer you to somebody else that is the decision maker for, for this event or that event. And that's no longer the case. You know, you can get your message out at a very, very low cost, you know, using Facebook ads, using Instagram, posting, posting consistently, you know, that's the key. And last thing I want to, I want to add, so many times I hear it, so many times, you know, well, I just, you know, there's nobody following me or I have like 10 or 20 viewers. It takes years to build a following. You know, first of all, you have to have content that people are interested in. 
content that people bring value to. You know, you can't just ask for a million follower and you haven't posted anything that is valuable to the people. You know, and when you post, you gotta consistently post. You have to be consistent when you're posting. One of the guy I follow religiously, and I mimic all the video, the way the format is, and I have no shame to say it, is Gary V. You know, that guy knows how to package his video. Now we're not in the same business. We 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 don't uh, uh, cater to the same audience. But the way he packages video, the way he has those short video, that's the key. You know, he always focuses on the message. He has a key message, and he consistently posts. Now I don't expect to post as many as many videos as he does. He probably have a whole team. But the key is, as a matter of fact, check him out. But the key is. You have to produce content that is valuable for the audience you're trying to target. And don't expect to have followers overnight. It's just not going to happen. Yes, you can promote your, 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 your content. You can do some advertisement, but it takes a long time to build that trust. And we all know trust is key in business, especially in the, in the message you're trying to sell. So, listen, if you don't have a website, wasting time and I'm not talking about just your business website you should have a personal website if you have a message to share if you're not on social media Twitter Facebook and not Facebook you know private but Facebook business even for personal you know Instagram uh, LinkedIn my favorite one out of all the social media LinkedIn is the best you know if you're not on all those uh, 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 different tunes then you're wasting time. You know, you're speaking to the wall. That's basically is. You're speaking to a wall because nobody is listening. And you're going to keep complaining. Investors, whether you're looking for investors, whether you're looking for partners, you know, when they do their due diligence, guess what? They also check social media. You know, because most investors, they don't invest in the company only. They first invest in you. They have to trust that the guy they invest in or the girl has the right skill set to run the company and that's what you got so make sure you do your homework i'm not this this video is not about how you promote on social media this video is to tell you get on social media asap and create content if you want to know how i'm not the guy for that you, you need to go online you know and there's hundreds of thousands of video to show you how to promote yourself but if you're looking for a shortcut you're wasting time you know so so make sure you do your homework start hustling man. you know the opportunity to me at least the future is in africa you know the opportunity is huge the ones that's gonna make it are the ones that separate themselves from the masses and the way they're gonna do that is on social